Chronic fatigue is a reality that many of us face today in this very moment right now. It's estimated that almost half of the world's population, so 4 billion people, experience fatigue on a daily basis. Whether you are a student or working in your profession, fatigue can always creep up on you and always take a toll on your daily life. And that is exactly why I wanted to tackle this subject today. When you're constantly feeling tired, and it's not just always necessarily lacking the energy, it's about a domino effect it has on every aspect of your life. Productivity takes a hit, and when you find yourself struggling uh, to meet deadlines or even get out of bed in the morning, your relationship suffers because you know you're just too exhausted to you know socialize or to be present with loved ones. And let's not forget about the physical implications. Fatigue could lead to weight gain, mood swings, and even chronic. Um, illness like uh, diabetes and heart disease. Fatigue can also affect your mental performance, making it difficult to focus and make sound decisions. Imagine being stuck in a rut, uh, feeling like you're just going through the motions, but not really living life to its fullest. That's what chronic fatigue can do to you. It's not just about you know being tired, it's about losing your spark, your motivation, and your drive in life. Fatigue can also impact you know, self-esteem, making it feel like that you're not good enough or somehow failing. You will start to question your own abilities, wondering why you just seem like you can't get it together like everyone else. The truth is uh, that the fatigue is a silent killer in our dreams, and it's time to start taking it seriously. So what are some underdying causes of fatigue? Well, one of the most obvious one is our lifestyle choices. We are constantly connected to, you know, like our devices on our phones, and you know, like that blue light from, you know, the screens is messing with our sleep patterns. You know, you're not taking enough breaks, we're not exercising enough, and we're just overall not fueling our bodies with the uh, right foods. And that's no wonder why we're always tired, including myself. Another major contributor to fatigue is the sleep quality. We're not getting enough sleep or we're just not getting quality sleep. And then when we do get some rest, it's often, you know, distributed by, you know, noise, stress, or an uncomfortable you know, sleep environment. Our bodies need sleep to repair and recharge. And when we don't get it, we ultimately pay the price. Stress is obviously another major player in the fatigue game. We're living in a world that is constantly demanding more of us, and it's ultimately taking a toll of our mental health and physical health. We're not taking the time to you know, relax, unwind, uh, and de-stressed, and it's leading to ultimately burnout. Medical conditions like anemia, diabetes, and thyroid disorders can also cause fatigue. Sometimes, you know, fatigue is a symptom on the underdying issue that needs to be addressed. And finally, uh, certain medications can also cause fatigue as a side effect. But there's one undying cause of fatigue that many of us have not considered, and that is the buildup of the toxins in our bodies. We're living in a world that's filled with pollutants and pesticides and heavy metals, and our bodies are constantly working to detoxify and eliminate these toxins. But when our body is overwhelmed, we start to you know, feel tired, sluggish, and exhausted. But our bodies are essentially working overtime to get rid of these toxins, and it's taking a toll of our energy levels. The buildup of toxins can be from you know, our environment, you know, the food you eat, and even our personal care products. We may be using harsh products that contain harsh chemicals, we may be eating the food that have high pesticides, and we may just overall be living maybe in areas with high uh, level of air pollution. As a result, our bodies are you know, constantly fighting to eliminate these toxins and it's overall exhausting us. So what can we do to overcome fatigue and finally feel energized? The first step is to truly understand the cause of our own fatigue and start to make lifestyle changes that support our energy levels. We might need to prioritize our sleep, 
our diet and our stress management. We need to start taking care of our bodies. And most importantly, we need to start taking care of our mental health. In conclusion, fatigue is a complex issue that affects millions and millions and millions worldwide. It's not just about necessarily feeling tired, it's about feeling like we're losing control of our lives. But by understanding the cause of fatigue and by making life changes that support our energy levels, we can finally start to feel energized, motivated, and have full control again. So if you feel like you're feeling tired all the time, I want to hear from you. Feel free to share your experience in the comments below. I'm more than happy to read it and reply to comments that are left in this video. And yeah, let's take it from there. Also, feel free to leave a certain subject matter if you would like me to discuss in the next video. You're more than welcome to leave that in the comments. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your time today. I'm Adam representing Team SOS. God bless you. And in case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. I'm signing off. Peace.